हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सी बी एस ई क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर नंबर वन सेट्स सो इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सेट्स व्हाट इज सेट सेट अ सेट इज अ वेल डिफाइंड कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट मींस इट इज वेल डिफाइंड कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड वेल डिफाइंड मीन्स वी कैन डायरेक्टली गिव द आंसर्स एंड we we don't get confused in that's why it is called well defined collection of object if somebody tells you that find out odd natural numbers less than 10 then then directly you can say odd natural number less than 10 are 1 3 5 7 9 9 you are not confused in this we know these are the only five objects in this set so well defined because we directly know the answer and there are no confusions in that that's why it is called well defined now again i am giving the vowels in the english alphabet we know what are the vowels a e i o u so well defined collection of objects so these are the collections and these are well defined that is called a set now i am going to tell you about few important sets capital n we know you had learn in lower standard also what is capital n the set of all natural numbers then capital z the set of all integers then q the set of all rational numbers these are the set that you have to keep in mind that's why we are learning this these all sets you have to keep in mind because they are now going to tell you this name only then you have to write directly uh, understand that this capital n means they are talking about natural number z means they are talking about integers q means they are talking about rational numbers and capital r that means they are talking about real number the set of real numbers now for positive again there are plus signs are added in this when they do this type of plus signs you have to suppose that they are talk, talking about positive integers only here they are talking about positive rational numbers they are talking about positive real numbers natural numbers all are positive only so plus sign will not come in here so these are all sets that that you have to keep in mind now there are two methods of representing these sets number 1 that is roster or tabular form and second is set builder form now in roster form generally what you have to do look here i am give you have to start with any cap first you have to give name to that set means i had given you can take any capital letter of a b c d as the name of that set then you have to write down all that element into the braces suppose i told you that odd numbers less than 10 so these are the odd natural numbers less than 10 so 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 and comma 9 this way you can represent any set capital letter for that name and braces and inside this that braces you have to write the objects or elements or members whatever you can call all are the synonyms synonyms of object you can use any now for vowels also the same i will we can give again any name that is b or v are you these are vowels so i am going to use v again into the braces and the elements are separated by comma a e i o u now you have to keep two points in mind when you are doing this first order is not important you can write down this set as v equals to e o i u a 
order is not important both are correct only first thing and the second thing one element cannot be repeated again in this suppose if they tell you that write the elements or letters of the word school so what you have to write b that set is b i have given name b and then s comma c comma h comma o will come one time only and l because o is element of this set means if two time is also there then also this this is the member of set so this is also the member of set so only one time we have to like these two things you have to keep in mind for this one now we are going to study about set builder form for set builder form we cannot represent all set in this set builder form you have to keep in mind that we have, we cannot represent all set in the form of set builder form only few collections which are having ordered pair or having some similarities that only we can write in this set builder form we cannot represent all sets in the form of set builder form suppose a e i o u is there we can represent because all these are vowels so how we can represent again we have to give name to that set v equals to again starting with curly um, braces and ending also braces but now we have to give name to this elements we will take this element as x or such that colon will come here you can call this x is such that again you have to write that x now what the, what are this element these are the vowels so you can say x is the vowel of english alphabet alphabet so this way you can represent this again i am giving you one more example suppose you you want to represent all the natural number less than 10 so what you will write a is equal to x is to x is a natural number less than 10 again this is close so this way you can represent in set builder form but you have to keep in mind you cannot represent all data in set builder form thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos thank you so much